Hello and welcome. My name is Donna. I am continuing with the Vintage Sewing Journal and we are going to make these pockets. I will show you some examples. Here's one that I went ahead and decorated. I'm going to show you how to do this 3D and these will go great in our Vintage Sewing Journal. There we go. And I did sew a lot of these. I just want to show these forward to you. There's some stitching when I was playing with my machine. And this is also an image that is on tissue. And here's what we were working on yesterday. Oh, and I wanted to share with you that I found this. And it still has the packaging, um, the darning thread. And that will be a really nice tuck there. So let me push this stuff up, out of the way. I pulled out some of my fat, oh no, that's just samples. I do have other fussy cut patterns. It reminds me of paper dolls a lot. Excuse me. Okay, so those are our samples. I'll leave those right there. Here I have the, the cutouts. Some of these patterns are super old. I have a collection of probably about 2,000 patterns. And this one is, I think, from the 40s. So I do copy them. I once made a 3D canvas art piece that consisted of um, a pattern and a lot of vintage period correct notions that went with it. And then I found out that I had cut up a very valuable French pattern. <laughs> so if they're common patterns, I, I still cut them. But if I do the research, you know, I try, I try not to run things that uh, are collectible. But we are just reusing them and giving them a new life. So what I want to show you is I did some of these and I sewed them. Here they are sewn. This is started, I started decorating this. Maybe we'll get to that. And here's one that is not sewn. So for everyone who does not, it's just working on that, so have a sewing machine, obviously you go around, but the first thing you wanna do is tuck under to give this some more support. So when you're using it as a tuck, that'll be stable. So let's take a look at this. And maybe, yeah, it wasn't quite glued all the way. So I think I will, I'm not going to use a glue stick. I'm still using this piece with the giant nozzle. And I'm just going to smooth that out. And we will just follow that line nice and pressed. And we'll just put this aside for now so that I can show you how I actually started this. So pattern instructions. And I like the fact that they're so creased and so old that, that they just naturally tear so nice. So it's really that simple. Just put that one more time just so it's nice and stable. I'll have to trim that up, one up a little. So let's start with this one. I like the graphics on there. And you can always check and make sure this is blank inside. And that came apart. Some of them you might have to cut. It just depends on uh, what you're doing. So what I want to do is I want to fold that down to create that support. And I can see this black line here. Make sure you guys can see this. Oh yeah, you can. Put that down. I'll go ahead and put a little glue there. I do have a glue stick, so I'll, I'll grab that too. We've got that. And this will probably be the back, so I want to line this up. 
I'm going to trim that and I will line that up. I'm not a big measurer. There we go. And then I will glue that side too. I hope everyone's well and healthy. Okay, so we have the back and the front, and I'm just gonna line them up. And this side is pretty good here. I am gonna trim around this. I'm going to glue it first and open it up and just run a bead of glue from here around the edge, smooth it out. up the top as best as I can. Smooth it out and trim the side. Very close to the edge. Okay, so there we have it. And as soon as that's dry, we can open it up and do things with it. So let's take our other one. That feeling a little dry. I did, oh, I do have some that are already dry. The, I did sew on these though, but it, the decorating is the same. I left some strings on this one and I didn't leave them on either one of these. So let's put this one over here. And let's look at this one. I set aside some ephemera that coordinates with the trifold pocket that we did. I was thinking this also came from that collage gift wrap paper and I really like that. She's a little big but that's actually okay. I'd have to do something right there. So um, let's take I think I'm going to use this upside down. Make a dress. Easy steps. Hold the stitching sewing machine thing. Let's bunch up. Get a line on our paper. stick at this point. I don't want to cover up too much of the graphics. And I'm trying to save some of the stitching too. These are not going to be perfectly straight. Part of the charm. some ink on that though. Well, 
while I was going through a pile of sewing patterns. Look what I found. It's the Jive blouse. Colorful, washable, all purpose. I think they took a scarf. It looks like a scarf. And they kind of made a blouse out of it. It's pretty cool. But what's neat is the paper. So I'm going to try to figure out how to make something out of this. Or what I think I'll do is actually just put it in the book. So I hope you guys can see this. I just want to show you. This is the book I'll be using. And I am doing a ring bell. The papers out of that were amazing. So there we go. Put that over there. I do like that. I think I want something up at the top. Um, fitting the pattern to you is a little big. Oh, how about the sewing? We used that before, but that's okay. I'm trying to figure out what graphics do I want to cover up. Because you're always covering something up when you're collaging. It's just the nature of it. It, it builds up layers, which is, I think, very pleasing and gives it depth. But inevitably, you, co you cover up things that you like. Pull this over a little more and also taking it to almost the edge will give it some stability there also in the, in the tough part. A little more there, a little more glue there, and a lot more glue right there. I've got to figure out what I'm doing with this string. How about if we do this? How about if I Go like that. Put some glue down. Boy, I hope I'm in frame. Put some glue down and then do this. Without, <laughs> while trying to get my finger out of the way. Uh, here. What we'll do is we'll do this. Curve. As if the strings are there. And then they can be connected. And that'll, that'll look a little better there. Stay down. I've got to go back to the regular glue. I didn't realize how much traffic goes down a main street that's off of my street until I watched my previous video. So I apologize for that. I'm trying to figure out what to do um, about, you know, about the sound. Oh, make a dress. We're going to cover that up. Fit the stand just right. There we go. And if you want to add any of the Rick Rack, I just want to show you real quick. Isn't this fun? This is all seam binding and Rick Rack and that hysterical. I think we could use some red there. That'd be nice. Yeah, but rummage sales. Household sales, rummage sales, uh, people know that I collect notions. So I have people that save stuff like that for me from their relatives and it, it's really, it's really thoughtful and wonderful. And I'm happy to finally be using this stuff because like I said before, I have been kind of hoarding it for a while and so I don't want to really cover up that string. Um, 
I've been hoarding it for a while and I'm not really fond of the string, so I'm covering up the string. My husband would like all of my collections out of the basement. So I'm doing my part. This is my part. I'm using it for other things, like repurposing. That is really an interesting rickrack. Oh, wow. I don't think it's handmade. So there we go. I decorated that. If I wanted to, I could put some buttons on it, I guess. I mean, I could put some little buttons down here. I just happen to have the white ones out. So that's what's going on. shown this little method before. Push those down. Yeah, that is going to stay. I didn't look at first. And this glue, I'll just get the access out, but you won't see it once it dries. So there we go. We did one pocket and I wasn't particularly, I, I didn't really overly love this. So it's okay for me to stick it on a page and use it in the journal. And I wish you could feel this. It is like fabric almost. It has a raised texture. I don't know what kind of paper it is, but these will be the pages that go back in. I plan on reinforcing them and maybe gluing at least two together so it's stable, so it's able to flip back and forth. But there we go. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for spending your time with me. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.